What's up YouTube? This is Aim for Survival and today we're going to be talking about wire saws. Stay tuned. Now today, as you'll see on future episodes and you'll see me carrying around Blade Show, you see a very small sling pack. This is wonderful. I can fit my axe right here as a large tool and run a small knife. But other than that, I don't want to carry a lot of gear, especially for maybe a day hike or a simple overnight where I'm challenging my skill sets. Now, to get started, we're going to go ahead and talk about one little piece of gear that fits in this kit, and that's your wire saws. Now, in this kit, obviously, I could fit your Baco Laplander. This is a wonderful option. It's got about an 8 inch cutting surface. Another and a newer option that we have on the channel is a small orange safety clip saw how it is in case you drop it that's about a five inch cutting surface however let's assume for whatever reason this is not available so we're gonna go to our backups now in my survival kit in the small trailblazer survival kit I do keep a wire saw now these things come with a lot of limitations and even more skepticism but today we're gonna go ahead and show how to use them properly also, we're going to show you how to use them better. Now, stay tuned. Okay, everyone. So looking at my kit, you'll notice it's small. I will be showing this micro kit minimalistic styled bag later on. However, one of the first things you'll note is that I do have the Trailblazer survival kit in it. I've made a video of my altercations of this. And one of the items in it is a small wire saw. Now a lot of people have tried to take these out and just saw away with them and they will work at first. However these saws are very limited. At the ends they are crimped around the ring and the more they flex the more likely they are to break. Okay, so we've walked up to the wood line right here. Behind me just above is a branch. Now critical at this step, you need to choose a green branch. It needs to be fresh with flex. You gotta be able to bend it a little and while you're using it, it's gonna bend a lot more. You're gonna need it to spring forward and pull back to keep tension on this tool to use it properly. Here we have a green branch with a bow in it. My intention is to go ahead and harvest the bowed in here. What we're going to do is just grab it up just like most people start and we're going to go ahead and saw this branch. We're going to take it very easy. We do not want to bend the ends of this too much as it will fail here or the wire itself will crease and then break. So step one is pretty simple. We didn't put a lot of pressure on the saw. What we're going to do is go ahead and take off any branches that get in the way. You could use your wire saw for this. However, the less you use the tool, the longer it will last. So we're just going to take these off very simply. As you notice, we do have our bowed section. We're going to go ahead and cut it down right here. We're going to try to break it with our knee. Okay, so we have a stick with a small, slight bow in it. It's not perfect, but it don't need to be. What we're gonna do is go ahead and saw a straight line into this edge to align with the tool. Let's go ahead and do that now. Now I'm locking this into a plumber's vise under one leg and against the other. And we're just gonna start a bite into the branch. After you get the bite going, use long, exact strokes. The more you use the tool, less work you'll do, the longer the tool will last. Once you have a decent bite, flip it over, do the other side. It's not near as clean, but that is no problem. Of course, we could saw it off, we may do that. 
But the important part at this point is to again make sure both notches align with each other. Turning it sideways so we can watch our work, making sure there's no kinks in the wire. We saw our secondary bite. At this point you can go ahead and leave the tool in this end, go back to your larger end. With just a little bit of pressure, bend the handle. If it's too long at this point, you can correct. The more you bow it, the more work you'll get out of the handle in the end. So now I want you to go ahead and see that we have the notch and the key ring pulled in and the wire guitar tight. And the same thing on the other end. Again, not putting it through the key rings. You could do that, but you risk failure of your tool. Locking in, you see we now have a bow saw the length of my arm with generous amount of room for whatever we're cutting. Let's go ahead and start with a small demonstration and move our way up. Here we are just a little closer to the wood pile. We have our makeshift bow saw. We're going to select a small, rather fresh, one inch in diameter stick. This would be perfect for a tent peg or a trap trigger. After creating our notch using short strokes, we will start using longer strokes. This is very important. Use the length of the tool. Now, as you see, we do have a very clean edge on this. If we needed to, we can go further down and make a very good tent peg, like I said, or the assembly of a trapping kit or a bow drill, to be honest with you. So now we've seen what it does on a little stick. This here is about three and a half inch diameter, about as thick as my wrist. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can get through this. I will note that it is a piece of dead wood, so not much challenge there. However, deadfall will be your primary use if you have no major cutting tool. Again, using short strokes to start the cut and working the length of the tool. Now at this point, I could easily break through this branch as I am more than halfway through. In a survival situation, it would be optimal. Save your energy, save your tool. As this is a demonstration, we'll go ahead and go all the way through the branch. There you go. The tool works. The handle was very efficient. Again, noting that we did not use the rings. We went slightly below the cramped end, allowing the stick itself to hold tension on the wire. You want this wire to stay straight. Listen to the tune on this. So we just saw how to take a minimal piece of kit and maximize its uses. Quick notes would be to make a straight edge cut in line with the handle place the wire saw into this small cut just below the crimped in wire use long sawing motions once you get the tool started now guys I want to go ahead and just keep this quick so if you haven't already I need you to smash that like button I need you to comment down below and if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to the aim for survival channel up to see you next time stay safe